So here's my Legacy 2012 domain controller. And as you can see, it's running Windows Server 2012. Told you on the desktop. And its host name is 2012DC. Hop across into Active Directory and look under domain controllers. You can see it's the only one that's there. Now if I have a look in Active Directory Domains and Trusts, I can also check my forest functional level, which is locked to server 2012. And my domain functional level, which is also locked to server 2012. Obviously, because that's all that I have. And if I do a quick query to see where all my FISMO roles are, they will obviously be on this one domain controller, 2012 DC. Obviously, in production, they would be spaced out among your domain controllers and, and a little bit more sensibly dispersed, but as this is a test network, they're all on this one server. So I jump across onto my brand new server. You can see that it is a member of the domain already. And it is running Windows Server 2019. So if we launch Server Manager, Manage, Add Roles and Features, I'm just going to tick that to stop it showing that in future and pull that to the middle of the screen so we can see what we're doing. Click Next, it's role based on this machine so click next and we're installing directly onto this box next now the one that you want is active directory domain services so click the button to add the additional features click next click next click next you can tick the button if you want but actually adding the role doesn't need a reboot promoting it to a domain controller does need a reboot but adding the role does not now for the sake of the video, I've obviously sped this up quite dramatically, but when it's finished, you should see it has succeeded. Click close, and up at the top you see the little yellow warning triangle. You click on that and you'll see you've now got the option to promote this server to be a domain controller. Now the default option will be add a domain controller to an existing domain because it's a member server anyway, and it will obviously pick the domain that it's in its preferred choice. I'm logged in as the domain admin so I have rights to do what I'm trying to do. It will be a DNS server and it will be a global catalog server. So the only thing that remains on here is for me to enter the directory service restore mode password and click next. Now you see this whenever you uh, promote you never need it. I've written an article. There's the link. There's the front end of the article on the website to show you what that's trying to tell you. I'm not going to install from media, and I'm going to replicate it from any domain controller. I've only got one anyway. Choose the default location for my Active Directory files, and seamlessly this will do the forest and domain prep for me. In days of old, we had to do all this stuff manually before we started. What we're looking for is all prerequisites have been met successfully. There will be warnings. Make sure you read them. Click install. Now, again, I've sped this up quite dramatically for the sake of the video. Once it's done, it will reboot the server. And once you log back in again, now if we go to administrative tools, Have a look in users and computers. If I drill down to the domain controllers are you now, you'll see I've got two domain controllers, a 2012 one and a 2019 one. Now interestingly, if I go to um, try and raise the domain functional level it won't let me yet because I've still got 2012 domain controller of course and the same will be 
true for the forest functional level. So our next primary task is to remove the old domain controller. Now that I've got a new domain controller, I'm going to move all my FISMO roles onto it. Now the simplest way to do that is from PowerShell. And because I am easy, I'm gonna paste the command in. As you can see, that's what we looked at earlier. We've got all our FISMO roles on my 2012 2C. There's the article that explains how to move the FISMO roles via PowerShell. And now if I hit the up arrow a couple of times and recall my net dump query, we should see that all my FISMO roles have moved across onto my new server. And they have. Again, in a production environment, you'll probably spread these out throughout your domain controllers and sites. As I'm only replacing one for one, that's why they are all one box. So if I jump back on my old one, server manager, remove roles and features. Click next and untick active directory, domain services. And after a couple of sections that you really are is what you're trying to do. And it will say, do you want to demote this domain controller? Select the option to demote the domain controller. Next, yep, proceed with the removal. My new server is a DNS and a global catalog server, so I've got that covered. Next, I'm going to untick DNS delegation because I don't own .co.uk. And the password that I'm putting in now will be the local administrator's password for this server once it's been demoted. happy click demote again I've sped this up for the sake of the video and when it is finished the server will reboot jumping back onto my new 2019 domain controller if I just refresh my domain view there and then go to domain controller you'll see the 2012 one has now disappeared as an disappeared from Active Directory, it's just been moved into the computer, so because it's now a member server rather than a domain controller. And I now had have the option, should I wish to do so, of raising my functional levels. If I go to my domain functional level, I now can raise it to 2012 R2, remember it was on 2012 before, or I can raise it to Windows Server 2016. Check the prerequisites before ticking these boxes and doing so. Nine times out of ten, you can quite happily leave them where they are. Now, if you have a large amount of sites and domain controllers, you have to wait for things to replicate around. But obviously on my test bench here, everything happens pretty quickly. And the same thing for raising the forest functional level. And that's us completely on 2019 with our forest functional level raised to 2016. There is no 29 forest and demand functional level. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell and give us a like.